Hi everyone, in this short video I want to look at how to solve an application problem that results in a rational equation. In particular we're going to be looking at a, another motion problem right here. Okay, so let's get started. In this problem it says that Al paddles 55 meters per minute in still water <clears throat> and he goes uh, 150 meters upstream and then he turns around and comes 150 meters downstream and it says the total time is five and a half minutes. The question is, what's the speed of the current? Okay, so let's let's let that be my variable. Let's let x be the speed of the current, and again I have this relationship that the rate times the time has to equal the distance. Okay, and in this case I have the motion upstream and the motion downstream. Now when he goes upstream, it's going to take him uh, longer to go upstream, the 150 meters, than it is to come downstream, right? Because going upstream, the current's pushing against him, and so he's going to be traveling slower. And then coming down, the current's going to be pushing him faster, so it'll cover the 150 meters in a, in a shorter amount of time. Notice also that uh, it gives me a time here, five and a half minutes, but that is not the time up and it's not the time down. That's the total time, okay? That's actually going to be the sum of these two times. So, so uh, the time up is going to be something less than five and a half, and presumably it'll be more than half of that amount of time. You know, maybe it'd be like, like three minutes or, or three and a half minutes or something like that. And then the time down, because he's going faster, is going to be you know, a little bit less than that, maybe like two minutes. So if it was like maybe three and a half minutes up and two minutes down, uh, not sure yet. But let's work it out and see, okay? So so going upstream, if it's, if the speed of the current is, is x, and he's traveling 55 meters per minute in still water, then 55 minus x, if you take the speed that he paddles in still water and you subtract the speed of the current, that's going to be his speed upstream. Okay? And likewise, going downstream, if you add the speed of the current, that'll give him his speed going down, which is going to be higher. Okay? So the speed up is 55 minus x, and the speed down is 55 plus x. And I know the distance in each case is 150 meters. All right? And I don't know the time up and the time down, but I do know the total time is five and a half. All right, so once again, since the rate times the time is the distance, I know that the time has to be the distance over the rate. So I know the distance up, and I know the rate up, so I know the time up has to be the quotient of those. It has to be 150 divided by 55 minus x. And likewise, the time going down has to be 150 divided by the rate down 55 plus x. All right, so now I know that the time going up, the 150 over 55 minus x, and notice this isn't just an abstract expression. This really represents, and we have to fix in our mind that this is the time that it takes to go upstream. And then if I add to that this time that it takes to go downstream, I will get the total time which is five and a half minutes. And there's my, there's my equation, okay? Again, this is the time that it takes to go up, this is the time that it takes to go down, and then this is the total time. So let's go ahead and solve it. Now we can forget about paddles and boats and rivers and streams and currents and all that and just focus on the algebra. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by the common denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 55 minus x times 55 plus x. So I'll do that on this side, and I'll do it on this side as well. Okay? All right, so what do I get? Uh, over on this side, when I distribute this whole quantity to the first term, the 55 minus x's are going to cancel, all right? So that's going to give me the 150 on the top times, again, the 55 minus x is cancel, so I'm left with 55 plus x. 
All right, now I have to distribute that. So, so basically what I've got is I've got this whole thing right there. I've got to distribute it here. And I also got to distribute it over there. So when I distribute over here, you can see that the 55 plus x's are going to cancel. And I'll be left with 150. Uh, and since they cancel, I'm left with a 55 minus x. All right, over on the right hand side, I'm going to get 5.5. And then I'm going to have to multiply these out, and so notice that's the difference of squares. I can do that fairly quickly on my calculator. I'm going to get 55 squared is 3,025 minus x squared. Okay, so let's go ahead and distribute. Let's take the 150 times 55. That gives me 8250. So I get 8250 plus 150x. This is the same 8250 minus 150x. And over here I'm going to get 5.5 times the 3025. Um, that gives me uh, 16,637.5 minus 5.5 x squared. All right, so notice over here on the left, I my x's are going to cancel. And I'm going to end up with just a 5.5 x squared. There's no middle term. Let's go ahead and, and uh, bring this over on this side. I'll get 5.5 x squared. I like my leading coefficient to be positive. And then I've got 8250 and 8250. That's actually 16,500 minus the 16,637.5. So let's just do that on my calculator quick. I got 8250 times 2. I've got two of those, right? And then I'm going to have to subtract the 16,637 that's still in my calculator there. So I'll just subtract answer there. So that's minus 137.5. And that's going to equal 0. Okay? Now, Notice I can factor a 5.5 out of that. So 137.5 divided by 5.5 actually gives me 25, which is really handy because then that's a difference of squares that I can factor. Okay, let's bring this up here. So when I set that equal to 0, of course, I can just divide out the 5.5, and that won't matter. I'm going to get either x is equal to a negative 5, or x is equal to a positive 5. Now remember, we set up here that x, what was x again? x is the speed of the current. So negative 5 isn't going to be a good speed of the current. Usually speed is positive. So in this case, it looks like this would be our answer. And we'll say, so the speed of the current... is 5, and what was the units here? Meters per minute. Now let's again just just check and see if this would make sense. So that means that going upstream, this would be 55 minus 5, so that would be like 50, and 150 over 50, that does end up being you know like 3 minutes up, right? And, and then if going downstream, 150 over 55 plus 5, well, that would be 150 over 60. Uh, what is 150 over 60? 150 divided by 60. Well, look at that. That's two and a half minutes, right? So, so it does make sense to us. It took about three minutes going upstream, two and a half minutes downstream, right? Because it's going faster. And that makes a total time of the five and a half minutes. Okay?